I used to spend the night in hotel parking lots. What was I gonna do? I ain't had nowhere to stay, so I lived in the car. I had $35. And I said, come on, God, man, I've been trying to make this dream come true. You done left me out here like this. And I was crying so hard that he just said, I didn't like hear a voice or nothing, but he spoke to me and however he said, if you get up, I'm gonna take you places you ain't never been. Now I was finna quit, so I said, skip it. I'm gonna quit anyway. So I got in my car, I went to a pay phone, and I was gonna call my dad. You remember back in the day where you could punch in a code and call your answering machine and get your messages? So I called and I punched in the code and the he said, doop. He said, hey Steve, this is Chuck Sutton with Showtime at the Apollo. We saw a tape of you. You're very funny. If you could get here Sunday night, uh, we'd love to put you on television. Call me back. Let me know if you can make it. So I hung the phone up. I'm crushed. Because my whole dream of being on TV, and I couldn't get to New York. I got $35. How am I going to get to New York? I can't make it. So I'm standing there at the phone booth, and tears just coming down my face. I said, God, so that must be a sign for me to go home. Because this it. I ain't even got the money to go to the Apollo. My whole thing, I wanted to be on TV. I couldn't even make the dream come true. I'm just, I'm, I'm, this is the most messed up moment. And so I said, man, let me call this dude back and see if he said this Sunday. Because maybe he said next Sunday and I can hustle up a little bit of money or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but let me just call him back. So I call him back. Steve, this is Chuck Sutton, Showtime at Apollo. We saw a tape of yours. You're very, very funny. Look, we have an opening Sunday night at Showtime at the Apollo. If you can make it, we'd love to put you on TV. I said, it's this Sunday. Before I hit the button, I heard, Doop! you have another message. That wasn't there before. So I punched my code in. I listened to the second message. It said, Steve Harvey, this is Tom Sober from the Comedy Caravan. I had, this was a Thursday. He said, I have a gig in Jacksonville, Florida on Friday night that pays $150. If you can get there Friday night, you'll make $150. So I, I called him back and I said, hey, Tom, did you get a gig away? He said, no, it's still available. He said, can you get there? I said, I'm in Pensacola, Florida. I'm three and a half hours away. So I drive to Jacksonville, Florida, and that night I killed, I made the 150. Club owner said, man, you funnier than the guy we hired. If you stay tomorrow night, I'm gonna give you another $150. So now I got $300 now. So I get on the phone, I call Chuck Sutton. I say, hey man, is the gig still available at Showtime at the Apollo? He said, yeah, we got one opening left. I said, I'll be there. So I call Eastern Airlines, who used to be open back then. They had a special for $99 going from Jacksonville, Florida to New York round trip. So I parked my car at the airport. I got it. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. Because God is always coming. He's never too late. At your, at your worst moment, look man, when they told me I had to be in New York, I saw no way I could get there. But that God don't. He make the phone ring. I end up in Florida, I make $300. Then I go to New York, I make $750. Almost got $1,000 out of nowhere. That's, that's what happened to me. That was my, my moment of never giving up. That's when I first learned that faith was everything, that, that you have to remain faithful. <laughs>